Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome. This is your weekly reading for July 31st to August 7th. Please keep in mind time is fluid. This reading can resonate for anyone who has strong Aquarius placements in their chart. So Aquarius, let's see. We have the energy of abundance for your week. The overall energy, very nice to see. Card number one with abundance. Aquarius, this card says lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. All right. So the fact that this card number is one, this is definitely showing me that there's new abundant energies coming into your life, Aquarius. And it's definitely something to be excited about. And let's see what your tarot spread is bringing. These people in this card are also celebrating. You have cards flying out for you. So let's see. First card is the Wheel of Fortune, which is luck destiny the wheel is spinning for you Aquarius things are changing in a more positive direction wow and flying next to it is the Empress abundance literally the Empress sitting on their throne male or female it does not matter sitting in this energy of open to receive and feeling very prosperous in the garden of full I almost feel like you're going to finally see the true potential for what you have been wanting, what you have been dreaming of. It's seemingly showing more physical for you. So you definitely have some luck. You are definitely in the flow of receiving the flow of good energy here. Let's get the rest of your spread out, Aquarius. We also have the King of Cups. Your possible challenge for the week is the Page of Cups, and your outcome is the Knight of Wands. All right, so I definitely feel like you are feeling a lot more excited with this week ahead with this King of Cups here. I definitely feel like there's a lot of love around you. There is a specific masculine energy that is definitely feeling the emotional connection to you, Aquarius. Empress energy here, feeling taken care of by the universe this week. Your possible challenge with the Page of Cups, indicating some of you, Aquarius, you know, you are an air sign. Um, does that mean anything more or less to emotions? Uh, you know, the whole chart of someone's birth chart really plays a part in the strong sense of personality or dynamics to work through, through personality, but your possible challenge is the page of cups here. So it could be that you um, may be feeling some challenge in opening up your heart in a sense, finding more compassion within for yourself, for other people. That's where you may find challenging here and your outcome is the Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like there's some excited energy. There's some expansive energy. You may find yourself doing a lot this week. You may find yourself in a lot of different places this week. And I want to clarify this. So let's see for you. Aquarius, what else is coming in for your energy? Definitely some lucky energy that's putting you in a really nice position. You feel very good about this. Sphere, please clarify this for Aquarius. All right, on the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Nine of Wands. On the Empress, the Ten of Cups. Definitely strong, lucky energy in a home life situation or revolving around your home. King of Cups with the Knight, uh, I'm sorry, why did I say the Knight? The Hanged Man on your possible challenge with the Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and your outcome, Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so there's definitely new energy here. We already saw that with Abundance. Now it's even coming in your outcome with the Knight of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles. You are being offered a lot of things this week that are going to make you feel very appreciated. I feel like you're you're receiving opportunities, offers, invites this week that are really showing you that the people around you very much want to be around you, want to value the bond that they share with you 
here. Um, specifically revolving around family. You also have the King of Cups of the Hanged Man. So I definitely feel an emotional shift coming your way this week, Aquarius. I feel like um, if your guard has been up with this Nine of Wands or you've had a sense of detachment in the in being initiative and in going for things, I feel like your energy themes seems more enthusiastic, seems more um, spontaneous here. And I feel like you're finding some emotional good energy with it as well. And back to your energy of your challenge with the Page of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel like that is where this sense of being more comfortable in your emotions is going to start taking apart some of you i just feel like there is just not a comfortability with connecting to them or finding the alignment with mind to heart but i definitely feel like that's what you're coming into this week finding more coherent energy between your physical sense of being your heart your mind and a total perception shift here with the hanged man i definitely feel like some of you may have been feeling very stuck emotionally and or there could have been like stagnant energy with another per person emotionally that is going to be shifting here with also a resolution of offers as your outcome so pretty interesting week here for you Aquarius you do have the energy of Pisces with the hanged man you have the Empress here with Libra and Taurus Fixed sign energy with the Wheel of Fortune. Your energy is in the Wheel of Fortune. I want to clarify this spread alone of your energy here. Nine of Wands with the Knight of Swords. Ten of Cups with Death. Yeah, there's definitely a good change to your home life. And on the Hanged Man, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, there was a lot of like feeling of tension or feeling of insecurity or feeling of, you know, walking on eggshells or almost like scared to get another person um, or scared to trigger another individual. Or some of you may have been feeling emotionally triggered and you're learning how to re-navigate that type of energy where you may have been very stuck on how to do that. You may have been feeling like a lot of things were bothering you recently, Aquarius, but there's almost like an energy here for you to snap out of it. You know, when like you have those times where you just like either have a moment where you're finding something wrong in everything or trying to shift yourself out of that or complain energy. I definitely feel like there's a big change here for you where you're coming more into alignment and you're, you're connecting to your physical energy and what you want with and then so becoming more abundant with your outcome here. So Aquarius, uh, Scorpio energy coming in now as we continue to clarify, but definitely getting over some sort of challenge. Let's see what we have as your ending Oracle. And there it is as a flyer flying at the screen. I don't know if I hit it. Okay. So your ending Oracle is Mercury with messages. Card number 20. Um, card number one with abundance and card number 20. Some of you could have been born on those dates. Um, literally, I mean, this is a reading for all people who have Aquarius placements. 120 could have been born on. I'm pretty sure that's Capricorn though. Okay. But still, you never know. There could be some sort of connections. Um, Mercury to messages, card number 20. I'm reading this interpretation from the book as we end your reading. Here we go. Aquarius. Mercury symbolizes your mental switchboard, how you think communicate, and move through the world. The smallest planet rules Gemini and Virgo and is closest to the sun, completing its orbit in about 88 Earth days. Because it orbits so close, it can only be found in the same sign as the sun, the one before it or one after it. Mercury has a large, dense, molten core, and one day on the planet takes 58 Earth days. Mercury retrogrades three times a year for three weeks, slowing time so you can remember, review, and connect. Your action with this card is to communicate. The mood is quick, fast, and cerebral. Look at your situation from many different sides. Be light on your feet and make sure you have all the information you need. Your possible challenge with this card is when a quick mind is not connected to the heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. 
that's amazing. Um, it can cause trouble. Watch out for the busy hamster wheel of the mind, shallow thinking, scattered disconnect, or glib approaches. Your gift with this card is that Mercury was the messenger of the gods. Listen deeply to the messages of your soul and the and the conduit to spirit and become the messenger. Wow, Aquarius. I like this reading. This is a powerful reading. Um, thank you for being here and for watching, Aquarius. We are back. May, um, we are back on this main channel actively. So do not forget to subscribe, ring that bell to all so you are alerted of any new Aquarius readings. Do not forget to cross watch your other chart placements on the channel. And thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Aquarius. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.